Baby, be in love with your fantasies. I can be a star. I make a sky so bright. Welcome to my dungeon. This is ecstasy. Let me play the fantasy. What's good, YouTube? It's your girl, Asia. And it's your boy, BJ. And, and we're back like we, we never left. left. Appreciate y'all for pulling up for another pull-up session. Yeah. Uh, today, we're going to be checking out George Carlin. Yeah. And he's touching on dumb Americans. Oh, uh-oh. So I wonder what he's <laughs> going to be be uh, detailing in regards to this particular skit. Yeah, this would be good. I think yeah. this is the first time you... This will be you my first time checking out George yeah, Carlin. This will be my first time for you've sure. You've not done a reaction with uh, with me with your, uh, uh, of George Carlin no. yet. Have you ever? Did you know of him before? I know of him, but I've never okay. I've, I've never seen any of his comedy. So this will be like really like my first time ever seeing anything from George Carlin. Ew. And hey, what better way than to have him? He's talking about dumb Americans. <laughs> okay. Well, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, smash the notification bell, join the Patreon family, y'all. Support the channels and shoot. Let's go ahead and jump into it. Yeah, ready? Let's go. Yeah, let's get into it. But say what you want about America, land of the free, home of the brave. We got some dumb ass motherfuckers floating around this country. <laughs> dumb ass motherfuckers. They can't yeah. straight down there, that. <clears throat> Dang. Now, obviously, that doesn't include this audience. I understand that. You seem intelligent and perceptive, but the rest of them, holy jumping fucking shit balls. Dumber than a second coat of paint. And this ain't just ranting and raving. This ain't just blowing off steam. I got a little evidence to support my claim. It just seems to me, seems to me, that only a really low IQ population could have taken this beautiful continent, this magnificent American landscape that we inherited. Well, actually, we stole it from the Mexicans and the Indians, but <laughs> hey, it was nice when we stole it. It looked pretty good. It was pristine. Paradise. Have you seen it lately? Have you taken a good look at it lately? It's fucking embarrassing. Only a nation of unenlightened half-wits could have taken this beautiful place and turned it into what it is today, a shopping mall. A big fucking shopping mall. You know that? That's all you got. That's all you've got here, folks. Mile after mile of mall after mall. Many, many malls. Major malls and mini malls. They put the mini malls in between the major malls. And in between the mini malls, they put the mini marts. And in between the mini marts, you got the car lots, gas stations, muffler shops, laundromats, cheap hotels, fast food joints, strip clubs, and dirty bookstores. America the Beautiful. One big transcontinental commercial cesspool. And how do the people feel about all this? How do the people feel about living in a coast-to-coast -coast shopping mall? Well, they think it's just fucking dandy look, look. they think it is cool as can be because Americans love the mall they love the mall that's where they get to satisfy their two most prominent addictions at the same time shopping and eating millions of semi-conscious Americans day after day shuffling through the malls shopping and eating especially eating Americans love to eat they are, they are <laughs> fatally attracted to the slow death of fast food Hot dogs, corn dogs, triple bacon, cheeseburgers, deep fried butter, dipped in pork fat and cheese whiz, mayonnaise, soaked barbecued, mozzarella, patty melts. Damn! I don't eat anything, anything, anything. If you were selling sautéed raccoons assholes on a stick, <laughs> Americans would buy them and eat them. That, that, Especially that part. Um, hey, that part I'm right sad there. to say. It's sad to say, but that, <laughs> that's absolutely true. You but, cannot saute no raccoon booty. Oh no, that's not gonna happen. Okay, the things you, the things I see people eating today now, <laughs> it's just like there there's no limitations. It's like you're gonna find something to do with every oh. single thing, even if it's completely unhealthy for you. Yeah, I, hey, hey, America the Great, to but we are America the Great. Is. Yeah, to call it for what it is. I mean, shit, that's so but, true. Especially when you go to the fair, like the fair here in Texas, like the, the fried everything, like fried, fried Oreo. Uh, what was it? Fried peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Fried cheese. Fried Snickers. Yeah. Fried, <laughs> fried, like they have all these, yeah, y'all, sauteed bananas. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. Just anything. Eat yeah. anything. Yeah. You could dip them in butter and put a little that. salsa on them. 
This country is big time, big time. Forget the bald eagle. You know what the national emblem of this country ought to be? A big bowl of macaroni and cheese. A big bowl, because everything in this country is king size. King size, extra large, and super jumbo. Especially the fucking people. Have you seen some of the people in this country? Have you taken a good look at some of these big, fat motherfuckers walking around? Big, fat motherfuckers. Oh, my God. Why they fat, George? Why they fat, George? Break it down for us, George. Why they fat? Can you imagine if there's, like, somebody out in the audience right now and they, like... (laughs) Right. (laughs) They talking about me? You know what I mean? He said, what's the change? What's the change that... that (laughs) The national symbol to a, a big bowl of macaroni and cheese. <laughs> yeah, Asia, Asia, she just she, Asia for lunch. She just ate a bowl of macaroni and cheese today, y'all. <laughs> Man, you can get off me. This is not about me. <laughs> well, maybe it is. Hell, what he the, talking about it, the right? Mac, the mac and cheese was good. You just hey. said it earlier. The mac and cheese was you cool. You leave me alone. Yeah. Oh. It, she said you said it was hitting all, all cylinders. See what I'm talking about? All eight, right? This is not. A, you can get off me. You can get off me. Okay. This Next. is good. Huge piles of redundant protoplasm lumbering through the malls like a fleet of interstate buses. The people in this country are immense, massive bellies, monstrous thighs, and big Ooh. fat fucking asses. <laughs> and if you stand there for a minute and you look at one of them, you look at one of them, you, you, you begin to wonder, how does this woman take a shit? Oh. <laughs> how does she shit? And even more frightening, how does she wipe her ass? Can she even locate her asshole? Oh, she my must require assistance. Gosh. Are paramedics trained in this field? And standing right next to her, of course, with a plate full of nachos and a mouthful of pie, is her clueless fucking husband, Joe Sixpack. With his monstrous swollen beer belly hanging dangerously out over his belt, beer belt buckle, this guy ain't seen his dick since the Nixon administration. Ooh, look at him. The Nixon. And if you stand there and you look at the two of them, you begin to wonder to yourself, do these people fuck? <laughs> Is this man actually capable of fucking this woman? It doesn't seem structurally possible that these two people could achieve penetration. Maybe they're in that Cirque du Soleil or something. He is so foul. He Yo. Had, he, and he had to go there. I feel Come like he had to on. go there. George had to do it. <laughs> he went all the way there. He had okay. to. He had to. Yeah. I, I feel like who's gonna touch on that? You got. He had to go all the way. He had to. Yeah. Uh, George is a beast, man. Chief penetration. Oh. Maybe they're in that Cirque du Soleil or something. <laughs> Telling you, the people in this country, are every half, of, every one of them is fifty pounds overweight. They are gargantuan, and in the summertime, God help us. In the summertime, they all want to wear short pants. Jesus, Lord, protector of all that is good and holy, deliver me from fat people in short pants. They all got short pants, big bellies, fat thighs, and dumb kids. Short pants, big bellies, fat thighs, and dumb kids. Every one of them's got two dumbass kids with them. And the whole family is wearing T-shirts, and every one of them's got the same T-shirt. I'm with stupid. Apparently in this country, the stupids are an extended family. <laughs> and besides wearing them t-shirts, everyone in the family's got on a backpack. They got a backpack strapped to their back so they can carry around lots of stupid shit. And the reason they got to carry their stupid shit strapped to their backs is because their hands must remain free at all times to hold food. And to get that food up Don't to the mouth where it gets shoveled in with all the rest of the disgusting shit they ate that day. And... Another reason for the backpacks is these people are going to buy even more stupid shit. They ain't got enough stupid shit at home. They just had a stupid shit sale. They ain't going to buy more. They're going to go out in the parking lot and stuff this stuff into the big, fat, ugly, oversized SUV that's got plenty of room in it. Plenty of room in it for stupid shit and lots of room left over for these big, fat, ugly motherfuckers to get them home. (laughs) Stopping, of course, for jelly roll and fried dough. Uh. These people... These people are efficient, professional, compulsive consumers. It's their civic duty, consumption. It's the new national pastime. Fuck baseball. It's consumption. It's so it so feel like that too in regards to just just in general, just like to consume. It's not even to produce anymore. It's like how much can you like consume and you know, if you consume this much in a day, can I consume twice that much the next day? Yeah. Oh. 
I, I, I feel like that. That's why that for food is going on a shortage. It's you know a food shortage. No. A, a brother can't get no hot wings at the hot wings place. They, they ran out of hot wings. How y'all don't have? They ran out of hot wings. Now I, I see why. No chicken and y'all the chicken spot. They ran out of hot wings and, and now they gotta have thighs because they don't they don't have no more flats. <laughs> they don't have no more drumsticks and flat and flats. So now they gotta now they gotta get the thighs. I mean, but that's not a bad transition. You go from the wings to. The I, I would prefer a thigh too. You know what I'm the thick <laughs> thighs too. The thick thighs so, too. So no, but but to make it matter, what he's saying is like, shoot, no, don't give them the wing. They not get fat enough from the wing. Give them the right. thigh. Right. <laughs> they need the thigh. Exactly. Exactly. I, I need the thigh. The thick ones. Again, the only true lasting American value that's left: buying things. Buying things. People spending money they don't have on things they don't need. Money they don't have on things they don't need. So they can max out their credit cards and spend the rest of their lives paying 18% interest on something that costs twelve fifty. <laughs> and they didn't like it when they got it home anyway. Not too bright, folks. Not too fucking bright. But if you talk to one of them about this, if you isolate one of them, you sit them down rationally, and you talk to them about the low IQs and the dumb behavior and the bad decisions, right away they start talking about education. That's the big answer to everything. Education. They said, we need more money for education. We need more, more, more books, more teachers, more classrooms, more schools. Uh, we need more testing for the kids. You say to them, well, you know, we've tried all of that, and the kids still can't pass the test. They say, oh, don't you worry about that. We're going to lower the passing grades. And that's what they do in a lot of these schools now. They lower the passing grades so more kids can pass. More kids pass. The school looks good. Everybody's happy. The IQ of the country slips another two or three points. And pretty soon, all you'll need to get into college is a fucking pencil. <laughs> <laughs> Got a pencil? Get the fuck in there. It's physics. Then everyone wonders why 17 other countries graduate more scientists than we do. Wow. Education. Politicians know that word. They use it on you. Politicians have traditionally hidden behind three things. The flag, the Bible, and children. No child left behind. No child left behind. Oh, really? Well, it wasn't long ago you were talking about giving kids a head start. Head start, left behind. Someone's losing fucking ground here. <laughs> There's a reason for this. There's a reason education sucks, and it's the same reason that it will never, ever, ever be fixed. It's never going to get any better. Don't look for it. Be happy with what you got. Because the owners of this country don't want that. I'm talking about the real owners now. The real owners, the big wealthy business interests that control things and make all the important decisions. Forget the politicians. The politicians are put there to give you the idea that you have freedom of choice. You don't. You have no choice. You have owners. They own you. They own everything. They own all the important land. They own and control the corporations. They've long since bought and paid for the Senate, the Congress, the state houses, the city halls. They got the judges in their back pockets. And they own all the big media companies, so they control just about all of the news and information you get to hear. They got you by the balls. They, they spend billions of dollars every year lobbying, <laughs> lobbying to get what they want. Well, we know what they want. They want more for themselves and less for everybody else. But I'll tell you what they don't want. They don't want a population of citizens capable of critical thinking. They don't want well-informed, well-educated people capable of critical wow. thinking. They're not interested there in that. Go. That doesn't help them. That's against their interest. That's right. They don't want people who are smart enough to sit around the kitchen table to figure out how badly they're getting fucked by a system that threw them overboard 30 fucking years ago. Ooh. They don't want... Ooh. Ooh. Hold on, George. Well, Ooh. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. I, I don't know if I was quite ready for this part, because George, he diving right into it. Like, he going straight in. Yeah. With the politics and everything, like, he, he talking with some knowledge. Like, it's funny at the same time, but he, like, really dropping, like, some knowledge. Like, you yeah. can tell, like, George Carlin, like, he, kinda, he done been there and done that, you mm -hmm. know? He done been there and done that. That's right. They don't want people who are smart enough to sit around the kitchen table to figure out how badly they're getting fucked by a system that threw them overboard 30 fucking years ago. They don't want that. You know what they want? They want obedient workers. Obedient workers. People who are just smart enough to run the machines and do the paperwork and just dumb enough to passively accept all these increasingly shittier jobs with the lower pay, the longer hours, the reduced benefits, the end of overtime, and the vanishing pension that disappears the minute you go to collect it. And now they're coming for your social security money. They want your fucking retirement money. They want it back so they can give it to their criminal friends on Wall Street. And you know something? They'll get it. They'll get it all from you sooner or later because they own this fucking place. It's a big club. 
and you ain't in it. Oh. Okay. You and I are not in the big club. By the way, it's the same big club they used to beat you over the head with all day long when they tell you what to believe. All day long, beating you over the head in their media, telling you what to believe, what to think, and what to buy. The table is tilted, folks. The game is rigged. And nobody seems to notice. Nobody seems to care. Good, honest, hard-working people, white collar, blue collar, doesn't matter what color shirt you have on. Good, honest, hard-working people continue, these are people of modest means, continue to elect these rich cocksuckers who don't give a fuck about them. They don't give a fuck about you. They don't give a fuck about you. They don't care about you at all, at all, at all. Yeah. You know? And nobody seems to notice, nobody seems to care. That's what the owners count on, the fact that Americans will probably remain willfully ignorant of the big red, white, and blue dick that's being jammed up their assholes every day. Because the owners of this country know the truth. It's called the American dream, because you have to be asleep to believe it. Oh! <laughs> the American oh. dream. <laughs> Man. Because <laughs> you got to be asleep to believe that it. That was a bar right there. Yeah. Wow. Man, for all you aspiring rappers oh, out there, wow. you got you got you got you got to put that you got to put that you got to put that line in there somewhere right there. Man. The American, American dream. American dream. Wow. You only believe it because you still sleep. The American dream. <laughs> now, <laughs> go be a part. Now, with my first time y'all checking out <laughs> checking out George Carlin, baby, like the first thing that I, I can sit here and say is that I feel like he's he's very very well diverse. And, and I feel like he's doing exactly what a comedian needs to do in regards to like speaking your mind and, and telling it exactly like it is from your own truth. Yeah. Because a lot of stuff that he said is, is fat. Like I said, I said it's fat. A lot of stuff he said are facts. <laughs> <laughs> I said facts. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm still thinking about when he's talking about fat Americans. He American. off of that, okay? But everything he said, I, I just feel like it's fact because, the, you know. Very, very. It, it's like he's speaking so much truth, but at the same time, it's very comedic. It's very funny. But... George Carlin, he does, he did, he's like one of those co comedians, just, I mean, from this first video, that kind of gives you that light at the end of he's the He's like a, a comedian, but he's still giving you a lot of, like, raw truths and, like, what he's saying, like, with his delivery, the things yeah. that he's talking about. It really kind of be on some real stuff, but he kind of incorporates a little bit of, like, the the humor in it, so it's like, it's <laughs> like funny at the same time, but it's like a funny, it's like a real funny. It's like, <laughs> it's like it's realism. Like, it's, it's, it's like funny, with, funny with facts. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And it's just like, man, you kind of, it's like, yeah. <sighs> because by the end of this, y'all, I, I, literally <laughs> I don't by, know if I should laugh. Literally by the end of this, I just wanted to stand up and say, yeah, power to the people. Yeah. You know, like, it, it gave me that type of vibe right yeah, there, man. just in regards to that, because like, he, he, he kind of pumped some motivation into me. Yeah. Just, just, just by what he was saying, especially like, when he's talking about dumb Americans and talking about like things that we eat, things that we consume, we literally will eat anything, you know, and just going from there to, to kind of jumping into like the, the politics. He didn't go like very, very heavy because in regards to like the stuff that he said, he didn't like be, he wasn't super, super specific. Yeah. But 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 I call his vibe and I understand exactly what he's talking about in regards to a lot of people are just sheep out here. Yeah, they're, they're, not, they're, they're not even sheep anymore. They're sheeple. Uh. And so I, I like how he's speaking on in, in regards to that, in regards to just, you know, People trying to be the minority rather than the majority. And when I say the minority over the majority, like being that small amount of American people that are, are independent, that's going to think for themselves, that's not going to, that's going to think outside the box, that's not being guided by this mainstream media, you know, uh, the minority of people, mm -hmm. you know. And, and I felt like that's what he's talking about is like, you know, be the minority, not the majority of Americans, you know, you know, <laughs> being sloppy, fat overweight like don't fall into like don't fall for the traps right because <laughs> those are traps you know <laughs> the, the food. good food the real you know the the, the, the money that you spend for that food yeah. like you know the what is that he mentioned uh things that we there we're consuming even when he started touching into like the politics the po and, he's talking and, about and the who, politics the who news, you voted the, media, for, the, news the, the media yeah like he brought up several good Factors where it's just like, man, like, and then the last thing he said was like, it's Hit called it. the American dream. <laughs> and it's only called the American dream because you still Cause sleep. you still sleeping. So, like, yeah, I, I like this one because it, it kind of forces some people to kind of wake up in, in the midst of the comedy and in the midst of laughing. It's kind of, it, it's kind of like a, like a gut punch too at the same time while oh. you're laughing. I'm like, that, that is my fat ass that he's talking about right now. Like, <laughs> 
I need to shape it up. Oh, and the debt. That's what I was going to say. The debt he was talking about. Like, putting yourself in debt. Like, running yourself up on that, too. So, I mean, yeah. He, y'all. George Carlin. Rest he, in he, peace, he, 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 Rest he, in peace to George Carlin. He passed away? Yes, babe. Yeah. Oh, wow. He passed away a, a, a while back, if I'm not mistaken. But, yeah. I, I can't remember. For some reason, 2015 is what's in my head. But it, it could have been even before then. Okay. Like, I could be wrong, but fifteen is what's in my head. I'm, okay. I, I, I'm not gonna stand by that. But I I, got you. I'm gonna check it out when we get done. Yeah, yeah, but man, yeah. <laughs> Listen, I, I feel like yeah, they watch. <laughs> they put me yeah. on to it when, when I started doing oh, George Carlin like a while yeah, back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I that's, got you. I got that's you. how I, I figured it out. But yeah, like George Carlin is he be on his stuff though. Man, um, rest in peace to George Carlin. Yeah, I did not know that. Yeah. Yeah, so y'all let us know what y'all think about this. Phil BJN, and y'all give me some more facts on George Carlin. What else do we need to check out as well? Like, yeah, George I'm very Carlin interested. The truth. Because this was very good. <laughs> this was a very good video. Yeah, yeah. And if y'all enjoyed this video, be sure you give us a big thumbs up. Like, comment, and subscribe. Smash that notification bell. Join the family. And if ain't nobody else told you, we love you. And we're going to see y'all in the next video, y'all. Absolutely, man. Peace and blessings. Yeah. <laughs>